Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day, so be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel here to get all of my videos delivered directly to your inbox. I'm continuing my NFL playoffs previews and predictions here with the divisional round matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and Seattle Seahawks. Atlanta comes into this game, the number one seed in the NFC, by virtue of them winning uh, the NFC South and finishing with the best record in the NFC. The Seahawks come into this game after an impressive defeat of the Washington Redskins on the road last week. This will be the second time the Seahawks will be on the East Coast in consecutive weeks, beating Washington last week in the wild card round, and now traveling to Atlanta. The Seahawks are a very interesting team to me. I mean, right now, they're the fastest team left in the playoffs. They have the fastest defense left in the playoffs. And I think for Atlanta to have to play Seattle, this is three years in a row now where Atlanta's had a solid team and now has to play a hot team in the playoffs in the first round, whether it be last year on the road against the Giants, two years ago against the Packers at home in the divisional round after a bye, and now the Seahawks. Uh, from the Seahawks' point of view, I thought their defense did a good job against the Redskins. No doubt RG3 um, was hurt during this game. He chose to play, though, and you know I don't take anything away from the Seahawks. The Seahawks played a great game on defense. They got down 14-0 early, didn't blink as a defense, didn't change their game plan as an offense, and really did what they needed to do to pull out the victory on the road in Washington. I mean, you can just tell when you watch this team, whether it be the run with Marshawn Lynch, whether it be Russell Wilson, who what I like about Russell Wilson is, can he scramble? Absolutely. But there's really very rarely a play designed for him to run. I know they do have some of those, but it seems like he picks the excellent time to tuck the ball and run. And I think that for a defense is harder to prepare for than a guy who has planned runs on tape that you can scout against and plan against. I like how they use Wilson. I think Bevel does a good job of not holding the playbook back for the young rookie quarterback. The whole playbook's open. His receivers, while they're not good in name, they're probably better than you think, although they're certainly not as good as Atlanta's receivers, but they can get open and they can make plays. Zach Miller's a solid tight end, and of course, uh, their offense really starts with Marshawn Lynch. When he's running the ball like he was against the Redskins, over 130 yards rushing, when he's being efficient running the ball, and you have Wilson picking the spots to run, and Wilson, who have another very underrated part of his game, is for a young guy, he doesn't turn the ball over much. I think when you combine all of these, the Seahawks offense is much better than people think, and I think it, t it took me watching them the last four or five games to really appreciate that. Another thing with the Seahawks is the whole, the Seahawks don't play good on the road. Hopefully that myth um, is blown out of the water now. It has been blown out of the water for me for about the last month, uh, but I know some people were still holding on to that. Uh, they went on the road and beat the Bears, and most importantly, they went on the road in a playoff game in FedEx Field in a tough environment and pulled out a win. So hopefully that myth is done as well. As far as the Seahawks' defense goes, the Seahawks' defense is a defense that is uh, fast at every position, very physical in the defensive backfield, which I think is going to be a big issue for the game against the Falcons in particular. They have Sherman and Browner at the corners, Thomas and Chancellor at safety, and not only can they cover these Falcons receivers man for man, but they can also be physical with them. And I'm interested to see how the Atlanta receivers uh, counteract that and deal with that. And I think playing on the turf actually gives – the Seahawks, just as big of an advantage as it gives the Falcons. Obviously, the Falcons will have the home field advantage and all the things that come along with that. But as far as an on-the-play, on-the-field-of-play point of view, I think the Seahawks' defense, as fast as they are with those pass rushers they have, with the Bruce Irvins of the world coming off the edge, I look for that to be a big advantage, actually, for the Seahawks in this game as well. As far as Atlanta goes, Atlanta's a team that, and I've been saying this for weeks if you listen to my uh, channel here, their whole season was focused on this game. It was focused on getting back to the playoffs and preparing for this first playoff game to get over this playoff hurdle. They've had two very disappointing losses at home two years ago versus the Packers. Last year on the road against the Giants, a game in which they only scored two points. To their credit, they came out this year, got off to a heck of a start, 
continue that momentum throughout the rest of the year. And I think there's no doubt during the regular season, if you take the whole season, I think they were the best team in the NFC. Their offense is very explosive. Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, okay, Roddy White. I mean, you know the names. Uh, Michael Turner, while he's had a little bit of a decreased role in the running game, uh, you have him, you have Jacquez Rogers. So the weapons are there for Matt Ryan on offense. Uh, they've been very good all season. They've won close games. They've blown teams out. They've won on the road. They've obviously took care of business at home. So I think Atlanta deserved the number one seed. We'll see what they do now, though, because I think like I am, like their fans are, and like anyone who covers sports is, we're all waiting to see how Atlanta comes out at home with everything in front of them, home field, Solid season, solid offense. Their defense is the type of defense that, again, won't wow you, okay? But they are opportunistic, and they do fly around more at home. They're, they tend to be, if you watch this team at home or on the road, I mean, at home, they really feed off the crowd, and they're basically like ball hawks. So I look for both defenses to really be running around, um, really make life difficult for the other offense. I think it's going to all be, this game is all going to be, boil down to which defense can turn the other offense over in that big crucial spot. And I happen to like the Seahawks defense better than the Falcons defense. It doesn't think it doesn't mean I don't think the Falcons defense is good because I happen to think that they're better than most people think. Okay? I think their pass rush is a little underrated and I think their speed is great and against normal teams they can normally get that big turnover they need at home in the Georgia Dome with the crowd going crazy. But I look at what Seattle did this week. They get down 14 nothing in what I think is a tougher place to play than the Georgia Dome at FedEx Field. They stay calm. They stick to the game plan both offensively and defensively. Keep on grinding it out with Lynch. Don't get away from running the ball and pull out the win. That was very impressive the way they went about winning their wild card game. And like I said before, the turf and the speed it gives the defense, I think it favors Seattle maybe even more than Atlanta. Seattle's on a roll right now. I, it's not that I don't think Atlanta's a good team. I think once again, though, they're just coming up against a little bit of a buzzsaw here in Seattle. Uh, right now, Atlanta's favored by two and a half, as I think they should be, uh, being the home team. I actually like Seattle plus the two and a half on the road in Atlanta um, to advance to the NFC Championship game. I expect this to be a very close game, sort of like a um, 27 23, uh, 30 24 type of game. And I expect in the end, I expect Russell Wilson, Marshawn Lynch, and the boys to take care of business and beat the Falcons because I think the Seahawks can do enough to give this Atlanta offense problems. And going forward, um, you know, I'll be picking the conference championship games as well. Be sure to check out my other videos here on my YouTube channel. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of my prediction. Let me know what you think of my analysis. You know, I like to give analysis of these games. Uh, the picks are just something I kind of throw in at the end just because uh, I kind of feel like I have to, and it's good for uh, fodder on the comments and stuff. Let me know what you think of the analysis. Hit me up on Twitter as well, at SNewsAnalysis. And as always, subscribe to my page, and these videos will get delivered right to your inbox, guys. All right, thanks a lot, and uh, be sure to uh, have a nice day and enjoy the best weekend of football next weekend, the divisional round. Thank you.